just prove to myself that I can do anything I put my mind to because the journey is going to be long it's going to be a marathon it's going to be difficult it's going to be hard but that's what you need to do to get to where you want to be hello welcome to my channel my name's Lee Rebecca and on this channel you know I make studying videos lifestyle videos and things like that I'm a year 13 and I have a medicine offer but with all of the adjustments for coronavirus I'm not really sure what my future is going to be like and obviously before this I have been keeping on studying I've been really motivated all of the Black Lives Matter things came up like George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Shakuri Abdi and just so many countless more like even at the protests people being run over by civilians and having the police protecting them it has been unbelievably draining and upsetting and it has literally stopped me from doing like practically any work for the past few weeks and I've been obviously like struggling because it's like this has been happening like I've been seeing this on Twitter I've been signing petitions but only now it's becoming something that's accepted and that's not seen as some like radical thing you know especially wanting to do medicine um, even with the government withdrawing the information for the BAME deaths and how it's disproportionately affecting black people and, and other people of colour. It's just like, they can't do the bare minimum to give us the information. It's like, I'm studying to become a doctor and then it's like, I'm the one that dies first. Like, <laughs> it's just very, very dark side. I was seeing like the difference between systematic and systemic and it's like, racism is literally in every aspect of life. It's in, within all of the aspects of life. Like the way that we have all of these techniques for surgery like in in obs and gyne the techniques they use were all discovered by by like sexually ab abusing slaves and all of that it's just been so painful to just be bombarded with so much information and even like the tuskegee experiments where hundreds of black men were infected with syphilis and then left to die for absolutely years when it was meant to only last for a few months so it's just been so so draining for me and pain this all started just from slavery and it's like it's just unfathomable how it, that was like 400 years ago but the legacy of slavery is just so prominent in every aspect of life as i said in my last video like i was posting about all of the black lives matter things on my Instagram and on Instagram I'm literally never active like I had to change my profile picture because it was from like 7,000 years ago and yeah I'm not really on, on Instagram like that but I was literally looking at my my um, screen time and it has been completely out of this world like I've never in my life spent so much time on my phone last week I was on Instagram for a total of 32 hours and 40 minutes and the week before that I was on Instagram for 19 hours and 20 minutes Which is absolutely disgusting and very shocking like that's a full-time job Like I've been very very drained and I've realized I know that people around me that I've been posting to are Now more aware, but I don't even know how to like enunciate this but basically what I'm saying is This week has been so difficult for me and all of my friends all of my black friends all of the people on the internet, all of the people that are at protests, like there are literally millions of people protesting across the entire world. As much as all of that is so important, it's like I still need to think about myself and these exams. So the exams are confirmed to be in October and the results come out in December. And I emailed um, my medical school and <laughs> they said that they're only accepting the results day grades and they won't defer entry with the autumn grades. So that's probably cancelled, that's probably over, which is very sad again, but that's just emphasising how I really need to just focus on these exams and probably like even resetting BCAT and BMAT and all of that. But yeah, it's like, it's not about me. I mean, it very much is about me, but 
it's like this is this racism it's like it's not going to stop by me telling people on my instagram about it by me spending a working week telling people about it like it's not changing enough i've been writing email templates and getting people to send them and so many things like advocacy but it's like i am just a child like i am not actually helping that much so i need to be focusing on myself and study <laughs> so basically what i'm getting at is while everyone else in the world is just carrying on you know posting a black screen it's like this has just been shaking me it's been very painful but as painful as that is i still need to carry on i still need to be focusing on my future focusing on myself and not letting this stop we need to be the ones to make the change we need to be the ones that are in the rooms that are like instead of women being like five times more likely to die in childbirth like i'd be the one to recognize their pain to recognize their symptoms on their dark skin to advocate for them to respect them to know that they have the same pain tolerance as any other person and it's like i need to I need to revise and I need to be on it so that I can serve my community and stop these things from happening and me posting online and spending 40 hours is not doing that but what I should be doing is investing myself for my future so that I can make changes then. Yeah this was just meant to be a short introduction but honestly it has been so difficult for me and just painful to see i went to the protest i i need to be fixing up and going back to spending only 20 minutes on instagram because yikes but anyway today i'm going to be doing some chemistry <laughs> case for my apple pencil so it's it's quite nice to hold now not a slippery but yeah i'm just going to be making some notes on my ipad and yeah i've just been feeling a lot i still feel terrible but it's just like we need to be making changes we need to be the ones to make the change and the ones that are the ones that are in power period like we need more black leaders more black lawyers more black doctors more black everyone yeah like even with jackie Ines campaign like um which encouraged even with jackie Ines campaign which encouraged all of the beauty brands to show how many black employees they have and the percentages in their workforce because it's very easy for places to have digital blackface and just be like oh yeah yes queen and it, all of that and in reality they don't have any black people in their entire team so we need to have diversity in the higher places in the important roles in leadership and for that to happen i need to study so come on ladies let's study yeah i just want to change my outlook because I, I haven't been listening to my study beats playlist which i've had for years i've had it since gcse's and i made another one for a levels it's fine like it's all fine it's not fine but it will be fine and by studying it's going to improve my outlook my chances and just my future so yeah let's get to it let's get to it
So just like that, I have done two hours on forest and you know, that just shows that all you need is discipline. And I watched like this amazing video by this doctor who had just newly qualified. And she said how it's like, you have these goals and you have to realize that those goals are only achievable by you putting in the action, by you putting in 
the work and literally her dad died her brother died she went through so so much but she still ended up working eight hours a day and getting the highest grades in all of her time in medical school and that really just shook me back into working because as much as it's not good to compare yourself to other people and like other people's struggles like I am not that bad like I am protected in my home right now as much as loads of difficult things have happened it's like you still have to have discipline and keep your work ethic on um on in this study period I thought I was going to make some flashcards I started off doing some flashcards on my computer and then um I'm doing like transition elements and these are very like color relevant so um I was just doing them on paper because I don't have Quizlet Plus where you get like all the fancy colours. Yeah, it's just like we just need to have discipline. We just need to be on it. We need to be like completely dedicated. Be able to know that you're not relying on just motivation because it's just waning. It's like we need to have discipline and we need to be focused on the journey and not just the goal because the journey is going to be long it's going to be a marathon it's going to be difficult it's going to be hard but that's what you need to do to get to where you want to be so yeah i've been in quite a low mood but this has really just helped me to revive myself and just prove to myself that i can do anything i put my mind to because this entire week i've literally done like nothing and for this two hours i have already done so much so everyone don't give up believe in yourself and just know that you're worth it just know that you're hard working you're able you're capable you matter and black lives matter and this is a a long journey it's not going to end with protests it's not going to end with all of these things it's going to be a long time and we need to keep the momentum keep the stamina and be ready to face all of those things that are coming but yeah thank you for watching this video i hope that this has helped you to have some discipline in your studying sometimes motivation isn't there and we need to just have discipline to go past that you know but yeah this has been so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video